Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I've recorded, but I'm back, so stay tuned so you can see how I got this look. So as you can see, my eyebrows are already done and my face is prepped and primed. So now I'm just trying to get rid of these black spots by applying LA Pro Girl Concealer and just pretty much blending that in over any parts of my face that isn't even toned or any black spots or scars I may have. And unfortunately, because it is the winter time, my skin is going through some harsh changes. Like I seriously had to color correct like everything. But, you know, this is pretty easy. You're just pretty much blending it out around any spots that aren't, you know, what your natural skin tone looks like. So obviously I'm giving y'all pumpkin teas right now, looking real orangey, but um, I'm actually putting on my foundation and I'm just blending that out. And you want to put your foundation right over the concealer. You don't really want to move the concealer around because you want it to be in those specific spots that you put it in. So I'm just dabbing it in with the wet beauty blender and just pretty much working the foundation around. And I mean, I like to build up foundation, so I always do a little and then just add where needed at. So, I mean, you definitely don't want to be extra cakey. So just take your time with this because this is one of the important steps in doing your makeup. And don't forget to bring the foundation down to your neck just so that all the colors are even toned on your skin. The way I feel about concealer is the same way I feel about foundation, like less is more. If you start heavy, there's no way to build it up or do anything like, because if you have to take something off, you have to take everything off. So I would say just start small and just start building it up. Then you really just want to start blending it in and working out the concealer. Like um, one thing I will say is everyone's shape isn't the same. So this method is going to be pretty different. But as far as like how you blend it, that's going to be pretty general. You know, you just want to go on the back and forth motion and you don't really want to spread it around. You kind of want to pat it into the spots you laid the concealer. That way it's not just going everywhere. And then you're just going to blend and blend and blend. I mean, blending is really a major key. Like you have to make sure you blend everything in. Like this concealer right here, like this is really my jam. And like, as you can see, it was trying to give me a hard time because I guess it's time to buy some more, but like I was not going out like I was like, you know what? The bottle a little empty, but we gonna make do with this because like I'm real extra. So I prefer the extra highlight like once I do the first one. And as you can see, I already blended everything out. I didn't want you guys to keep watching the same thing over and over. But, you know, you just want to go over any spots that may look like they need a little more attention. There's nothing wrong with blending. Now, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. You definitely want to do this in any spots where you may have highlighted or contoured, but I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup to go ahead and do my highlight. And then later on, I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette to go ahead and set my concealer as well. I mean, and I definitely suggest this method because you don't want your face to be looking all greasy. You want it to be more matte. Well, at least that is my objective. And 
Now, when you're contouring your nose, like you always want to bring it up into your eyes. And for me, I'm not doing eyeshadow today, so I'm definitely just going to put it all over my lid. And that's just going to give me like a natural look. So I always do this when I'm not going to really do any eyeshadow or anything. So it's not just, you know, white looking from the concealer, but it has a brown tone in it. And at this point, I'm just contouring my forehead just a little bit, just to take away from how big it is. I mean, one time for the big forehead gang, but you know, this thing is ridiculous. Like, you know, I have to contour it at least a little bit. Now, after I put all of my powders, before I brush anything away, I like to use my MAC Studio Fix Powder to just kind of sweep away any excess powder. And for me, that just gives me a nice brown tone so I'm not so dusty and not, you know, white looking. I just want everything to be, you know, kind of leveled out a little bit. And with this method, you're not going to take away from your highlight or contour because you've already used liquid and powder to set it. So it's really just evening out some of your skin and the extra spots in between. And then I'm just going in with some pink blush from Tarte. Um, I don't really remember the name right now, but I'll put it in the description box below. And you really want to make sure you set your face after putting all that powder on your face. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I don't know lashes make you feel like a new woman, but now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little glow to my face real quick. Now I'm just going in with my NYX pencil and I'm just outlining my lips, getting ready to add some lipstick. And I'm pretty much finishing up this look at this point. This is the final look. I'm really happy with how everything came out. So hit subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Love you guys.